This Ruby tutorial shows you how to send text messages using Twilio. But for that, we're going to need a phone number, so let's go get one. We'll start in the Twilio console and search for a 267 area code phone number. I'll buy the first Philadelphia phone number. I'll click buy this number and then setup number, and we're good to go with our phone number. To send an outbound SMS, your application makes a post request to Twilio, and Twilio sends a text message. It's that simple. We'll start in the terminal or command prompt if you're on Windows and install the Twilio Ruby helper library gem. Then we'll create a send SMS RB file and open that in a text editor. First thing we'll do in here is require the Twilio Ruby helper library that we just installed. Then we'll declare some variables to hold our credentials from the Twilio console. This is the account SID and auth token. They look like this, but I have them stored in environment variables, so I'll fetch them from there instead. I need the Twilio account SID and the Twilio auth token environment variables. Then I'll use those credentials to create a Twilio REST client object, passing in the account SID and auth token that we just fetched from the environment. Now we'll use that client to create an outbound text message using client.messages.create. This takes three parameters. The first one is the two phone number. Phone numbers look like that when you use them in Twilio, but mine's stored in an environment variable called my phone number. Second one is the from phone number. That's the Twilio phone number that we purchased earlier, 267-930-2689. The third parameter is the body for the text message. Here we'll just say, you sent your first SMS using Ruby, congrats. We'll give this a save, head back to the terminal and run ruby send sms.rb and a text message will appear on my phone. It really is that simple to send text messages using Twilio. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button over on the left. If you want to watch another video, I picked one out just for you in the top right. And if you're looking for the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. Until next time, I'm out of here.